Some say the Savior first lived during the 30 years or so between BC and AD 2000 years ago. A man of myth and legend stories, maybe you've heard him. He was a Jewish carpenter and his mother was a virgin. His name was the Christ and some thought him odd because he preached in the streets and claimed to be the son of God. Performing miracles did little to win over the Romans. Infuriated by his acts, they called him a showman. So they tackled him and shackled him and whipped him and beat him and tortured him. They did everything just short of believing him. They nailed him to a cross and left him in the sun to die. Now here's where the story buries in everybody's eye. You can believe that on the day he met his fader. You can believe he came back three days later. You can believe that he shall return again to commence the Armageddon and the judgment of men. He won't descend from the heavens till he merge from the earth. With worms in his eyes, his blood dry as dirt. All bones with little chunks of mummified flesh. Even the bugs in his bowels will be repulsed by the stench. Hungry as hell, not eaten into millennia. And he'll immediately need to start feeding some. He will search for the first church as down come the rains. Moan and Aramaic with a craving for brains. Half-eaten believers scream. Jesus of Nazareth. Their dead bodies rise back to life like Lazarus. This horror story will be in the new Bible. Written by zombies, Jesus knew his disciples. Satan won't arrive for the end times war. And Christ will hunt a hundred and be hungry for more. No rival, no reason to deliver us from evil. The undead prince of peace is feeding on and people. And he shall rise, rise. The son of God will arrive back from the dead. And when it happens, it'll blacken the skies. And he shall rise, rise. And we'll all be surprised as he walks the earth to the cries of he's alive. Now wait, wait, what would Jesus do? Well, let me tell you what he'll do. He will leave a trail of goo as he prays. He prays on you. Undead Messiah with the entire world turning into zombies like him. You'll die for him because he died for you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. For centuries, men of cloth have warned us that this day will come and they've used it to keep people oppressed under their moral thumb. They've controlled and convinced us that our lives are filled with sin. Well, guess what? That's who he's coming for. Those who think they're pure like him. He will only go after those who win and have faith. So all the non-believers around the world will be safe. All the Muslims and Buddhists, the Satanists, the atheists. The Jews will be saved too, but not the Jews for Jesus. And not the hypocrites or pro-life sexists who hide with the religious ride in the heart of Texas. Most of our government will get it the same. And anyone who's committed atrocities in his name. He'll crucify Klansmen. That'll be beautiful. They don't get that fucking prick who pickets gay funerals. Catholic pedophiles are eaten after he whips them. Look out, cause he'll send you back to hell, Mel Gibson. Those old and gray on crusades who would force Christians and prayer in our schools and commandments and courts All his followers who twist the words that he said Are the ones he'll hunt down when he comes back from and the dead he shall rise, rise The Son of God will arrive Back from the dead and when it happens It'll blacken the skies And he shall rise, rise And we'll all be surprised As he walks the earth to the cries of He's alive Now wait, wait, what would Jesus do? Well, let me tell you what he'll do He will leave a trail of good he prays on you Undead messiah with the entire world turning into Zombies like him, you'll die for him Because he died for you He's coming, he's coming, but he's coming to eat us Christians will all turn to zombies upon his return visit It isn't too much different than it is right now, now is it? And he shall rise, rise The son of God will arrive Back from the dead and when it happens It'll blacken the sky